So where are we? Right here, I think. Actually, there we are. And we're gonna go up here. Another king seat. The wayside standing stone. I found a bone. Like some kind of femur. There's a raven somewhere. This is definitely a beautiful part of Persia. Is there any not so beautiful part of Persia? Uh, Perth. <laughs> I guess if you're not a city person, then you're not gonna like the city. Oh, you can see its heart. You see the pulsating line on this bag? That's like its heartbeat. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> he stopped moving. He's pretending to be dead. He's come back to life. Here we are coming up to the top. It's sort of uh, quite summery, but not as warm as the past few days. So it's about 13 degree at the base, but the sun is nice and warm. That's the kind of summer day that I prefer personally. Somebody has been leaving with colourful painted stones everywhere. Now this used to be a set of stairs, so you can go up there. But uh, let's try that. And look at this view. There's a little imperfection over there. That's Craig Ogney. Highland Perthshire starts over there. So that's that's Beneglos with the snow still on it. And that's Burnham down there. That's a Craigie Barnes. This whole hill. This is fairly close to one of my favourite paths, the Incheon Path, which starts in Burnham then there and then leads along. And then you can pass this farm. And from this farm, you could go up to Craig Opney, there. Or you could keep going along that road and eventually it takes you to the Hermitage. So it's all kind of connected. 
And that's where I filmed the video, uh, walking through a Scottish forest. Just walking along that path there. And then I filmed a bit at Hermitage as well. One way to get off Burnham Hill is you could go down that path and that takes you around all the way there. And then you come out there and then come back. But we're just going to come back the same way because there's something else I would like to show you. I just can't help myself filming this beautiful light situation. Sorry. So I'll show you where we're going. We're going to go to this spot right there. And you will see when we get there why I'm taking her there. It's supremely hard to see. Oh, down there, this little tree. This raven sitting there. Maybe he'll fly away. And just one. And one sitting there, and the other one is sitting on the branch there. It seems that people have started to build little slate towers. Interesting. Oh, there's three of them. Wow. Four. four ravens, that's a story. Like four raven brothers. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> That's so cool. There he sits. Squatting. So we're almost there. That's uh, behind the bend. <laughs> behind the hill. So nice. It's definitely the best looking landscape when you've got the sun setting on some hills and shadowing some others. I think if we came any later it would be impossible. <laughs> but this is not this is not too bad. It's like one thing to remember when you've been through Bracken is to check for ticks. A room. Ta-da. So it already starts. There's a square wall all around the perimeter. And then this is house. And the birch is growing on it. And we found this years ago by accident. Because we were coming up a new path and we just came across this totally by chance and then I love finding abandoned places I feel like it does give you an idea into how people used to live there's a lot of places like this in the highlands and on the edges of the highlands because a lot more people used to live here and then obviously we had the Highland clearances. I'm up on the wall here, but there's an entrance. This is obviously the door. The walls are so thick compared to my foot. There's a room there, some kind of chamber. Lots of leftover stones. A bench, which may or may not be how it originally was. And then another room over there. And from what I remember, this was a hearth. It's not completely covered in stuff. See, there's this bucket. And you've got this chain. A really cool place. And then oh, I think that was the chimney. The bench. 
and there's one more window. It's a very interesting outline. You've got these somewhat circular rooms on the outside, and that one over there that could parallel to each other. Uh, do you know anything about old houses like this? Uh, nothing apart from what you said already. Uh, I mean, I suppose they, I think they used to keep animals in the houses as well. Hmm. You know, the people would live with the animals. It's called fire house. So that's the entrance. Lots of big stones. These are all stones as well. Here's the room from the outside and you can see the parallel to the other room on the other side. And then the square shape of these walls. So it's sort of not completely square, it's as if it was just moulding itself to fit the the terrain. And then the wall around it. Here's the ruins from a different angle. Two more blueberry blossoms, which will turn into tasty blueberries in autumn. That looks like a nice viewpoint. point out that the hill over there that's Dukery Hill and that's where we went for my birthday in March and I've got a video of that as well. It's a real cool walk. So much later in this hill. Now would you look at that? There's another abandoned house. This size looks a bit simpler than the other one, a bit smaller. It's pretty cool. The thing I would like to point out is the fact that there's so much stone. I think they certainly didn't struggle to get any building material for their houses up here. It's just readily available. That looks like a very steep gorge up there. I don't usually go this way, but this is a really nice path. I'm happy we found it. I've come to the quarry. This actually looks really cool. How many times have I said the word cool today? Not enough. This is quite astonishing looking. Massive rock. Here's some ladies mantle. Maybe I should take some home. It's a plant for the ladies to help them out with their monthly issues. If you've never touched this plant, please do it. It's soft like a kitten. So soft. Something that I learned recently, you see these uh, droplets on the leaves. Apparently that doesn't necessarily have to do with rain, but this plant uh, exudes liquid in the night and then it comes up in the morning 